Welcome to Star Citizen and 11 tips and tricks as well as basics for the Pyro playtest. Because the preview version of Pyro has not only visually brought some changes, but also in terms of some gameplay areas. Currently, access to the Pyro preview is still limited. There is access for Evocati testers, concierge members, buyers of the digital goodies pack from the CitizenCon, as well as the most active players. But it has been pointed out that further test groups can be unlocked or limited depending on the test version. And this Pyro test is not the only one. Height number 1. Pyro currently offers you 4 starting locations. These are all space stations, which only differ marginally. And here the checkmate or orbitary station is a little more populated. So, if you are a fan of PvP and you would like meet as many other players as possible as quickly, these two stations give you the best possibility for this. But player contact and PvP cannot be avoided, regardless of which start location you choose. And in the interior area, the stations differ only marginally here. Here you will find the same shopping options as well as common services. So, an option to repair, medical facility, for spawn and regeneration, as well as various shops for food, drinks, weapons and armament. And of course, these starting points can still be changed as part of the test and the different versions. Number 2. Pyro is big, but not all areas are playable in the current playtest. Here, we only have the inner circle of the system ready to play. So, we have already access to Pyro 1, 2 and 3, as well as the various stations, which serve also as starting locations at the same time, and some clusters. But don't worry, we have more than enough missions, options and gameplay in Pyro. Here, the playtest times are far from enough to see everything or play even every mission. And again, additional areas will be added for future playtests and new missions and mechanics will be also available. Number 3. Pyro has a decisive difference to Stanton. Here, we are mostly in an enemy environment. So, focus on PvP actions, because there are hardly any monitored areas here. So, actions against players are not handled with a crime stat or similar. And in addition, there are some stations on which weapon free zones are not given everywhere. For example, in the area of the HAPS, you often have the option to pick your weapon directly and get started. But for this point, of course, we still have some tips for you. Basically, however, you should be aware for Pyro that actions of other players are not detected by the law system and you have to handle it by yourself. Because Pyro is an outlaw area. But since only some not really understandable areas are not weapon-free zones on stations, it is questionable whether this is so intended and is still being adjusted. In any case intended is that there are no monitored areas in Pyro, so we can't risk a crime stat if we shoot at other players or do some damage. And that's why the PvP aspect is always given. And we have to adjust to it, simply being shot at or being attacked by former teammates. And in addition, misunderstandings can arise very quickly. So always take a look at the chat and activate the voice system as much as possible so then you can at least communicate with other players up close. With this, Pyro offers a wide field of play and many possibilities, especially for PvP-friendly players. This way, you are regularly shoot from behind when approaching a mission target and the attacker to turn you off before you can react. Therefore, our tip is not to fly alone if possible, but take some friends with you. Then the attackers are more limited, and the attackers are waiting for another target, which is more vulnerable than you. And since above all, this aspect is part of Pyro and the gameplay for it, nothing will change much future game versions in this aspect. Because Pyro offers exactly that as a system of lawless outlaws and pirates. And a lot of space for PvP and good prospects to win, but with a correspondingly high risk. So you should be aware that you leave the safety of the Stanton system behind you when you enter Pyro. But there are also some factions here that control various areas and sanction corresponding behavior against these organizations. But we'll go to the various factions in Pyro in a moment. First of all, a tip on how you can protect yourself from the various starting areas and hubs, losing equipment and being annoyed by spawn campers. 
Because after some starting areas do not offer protection directly, it is advisable to pack your loot and your equipment you carry on your body into your station inventory before leaving your heps and opening the doors. Because in any case a weapon-free zone is the ship's terminal. So nothing can happen to you here. And after you have access to your station inventory also, you can simply put your equipment in there. And since there is already a lively discussion about whether the spawn area at station is a safe place or not, we assume that these zones will be changed to weapon-free areas. Because various other areas of the stations are also weapon-free. And even if we are in an outlaw system, the station owner or the faction has no interest that their visitors being shot over the head after getting up. And currently you have already reached a weapon-free zone with the arrival of the elevator and at latest at the terminals, and you can then dress up completely again. And so you don't lose any equipment on this way and are safe until you leave the station. But a warning, as soon as the station gates open and you have left the station, you are back in a lawless zone, and the weapon zone, and you can be shot immediately. Number 5. There are currently four different factions in Pyro. Citizens for Pyro, the Headhunters, Xenothreat, and rough and ready. So here we have to decide again which faction we want to work for, because if we build up a reputation for one faction we receive better orders, but often have to fear interactions with other factions. For example, our standing for the headhunter faction versions when we work for the zenith red. Number 6. The optics has changed fundamentally in Pyro. Because massive space stations, huge ships or players can hide directly in front of you in the fog and this are not being visible for you. So it's not a graphics error if a station is completely hidden behind a black cloud for you. Here you just have to fly through. Therefore, we recommend that you use your scanner more. By holding the V key and releasing it, you can send out a scanner ping and thus find structures behind the fog and do not fly against an asteroid or another player who is probably also hiding in the fog. Tip number 7. Keep an eye out for information boards and warning signs at stations. These show you not only the way to the standard areas but also to different mission locations. And since the pyro stations are anything but clean, they can sometimes be a bit hidden. But you will find almost every area with a bit of a look around, because the signs are on every level. With the exit signs attached to each area, you will also find the exit or an elevator. But we will show you the most important way for the bidding once for all. This is the way from the elevator from the hub to the hangar. Because we got lost here on a regular basis. And as soon as you have driven from your starting point to the entrance with the elevator, you leave it and take the straight path. And at the end of this path you will first reach a wall, however, you can walk around it right or left, and thus get to the next area. On this way you will also pass the different dealers. Weapon dealers, armor dealers, food dealers and of course also for medical equipment, you have the choice. And this is all directly on your route. And finally, you come to a small narrow passage, where you can see a gun tower. Then you are on the right way, here is about the security control of the station. And for exploration loving players, the pyro stations also offer countless alternative ways, via corridors, shafts and more. Here you can let your exploration drive run free. And as a note, you can also find different loot boxes directly on the station. The new FPS missions also offer you new loot boxes with an exciting feature. So tip number 9. Because here we have the possibility to equip our entire ammunition for a carried weapon with one click. And that completely to a maximum. And the similar box is also available for grenades. Tip number 10. Keep your orientation. Because there are not only various missions where you are in shafts and corridors, no, almost all areas of the pyro stations, caves and the outposts have the possibility to explore more closely. And here you will find really very extensive tunnel systems and underground facilities. Here it is only a matter of time until you are completely lost and at some point and no longer know where you are. Pyro Basic 11 And one of the most important innovations in Pyro are the solar eruptions, so the coronal mass ejections. 
and these can have a significant impact on you, your ship and your health. These mass coronal ejections do not only cause significant interference of your MFDs, but also of your Moby Glass. Operating is still possible, but the display is strongly disturbed. And even if you are actually in complete darkness, it is then daylight. And the effect does not only do a lot visually. Because depending on the intensity of this solar eruption, your ship can also take damage. Operating shields are necessary here to protect your ship from further damage and also of your character. But the effect is not the same for every solar eruption. These can have clear differences. So we have experienced various variations, from almost no interference to severe damage to our shields and ship. Also the duration and frequency of the interference is also very different. And above all, if you are sailing with a ship in close proximity, this effect can be really dangerous. However, you will receive a warning in advance and as soon as the effect subsides, you will also get the clear message. But this effect currently does not really pose a real threat. Damage to the character is also manageable in a completely unprotected external operation. Thanks for watching.